Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today's the terrorist run of A Murder of Crows. So let's get started. Now, I have a small confession to make. I actually played through one of the earlier levels to lower our uh, notoriety. And the reason I did that is because when you have 100 notoriety, uh, some things just aren't available to you. So, because I lowered our notoriety, I was able to get uh, improved body armor, which is extremely helpful, especially for levels coming up. Especially for this level, because there's so many damn people around. Uh, but I really don't have very much money for anything else, because... So this game likes to punish you for having fun, day. apparently. So let's get started. Well, that's quite a loading screen. There we go. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to just let this guy be for now. And instead of killing him, I'm going to search for our sniper friend. Without, uh, without getting walkie-talkie first. Huh. Yeah, did someone see me or something? That's weird. Yellow. It's funny, unless you have 100 notoriety, the chances of people uh, recognizing your face are pretty low. And I'm gonna kill this guy, because why not? It's the terrorist run, after all. Senseless violence, kind of. It kind of comes into the whole thing. And you know, I was thinking, stealing the party goer's outfit is pretty much pointless. Because once you get into the bar, nobody cares, uh, nobody cares who you are or what you dress like. Only the guard outside cares. And what is this guy on the left doing? What's, uh, seems like someone found our handiwork. But, more to the point, what, what's this guy doing? It kind of looks like he... He's getting ready to grope her breasts, but what the hell? He's doing it too. They're all doing it. What the? Oh. Huh. Seems like they recognize me. And these guys. I never forget a face I see on the TV. So, I guess, uh. I guess people won't recognize you automatically if you only have 70 notoriety, which is about what we have right now. But, if there's an alert, or if a dead body's found, then all of a sudden people look at you and realize, hey, that was that guy who went around slaughtering everyone. Well, what weapon should I use on these folks? Oh. Oh, uh, there's the cop coming up the stairs. Um, where are you going? Where are you going? Headshot. I'm gonna shoot you in the balls. Oh, I sure hope you enjoyed making out with that lady, because that's the last time you'll ever enjoy that. Let's pick this lock, and nope, nothing behind door number one at all. So, we must continue our search. Now, I didn't, uh, I didn't bring into the level a shotgun or assault rifle because this level has two new weapons that we'll be trying out. Oh, there's our first target. Well, huh. You know, she has a gun, but she's still, um, she still had like an innocent bystander's voice. You know, she said, oh no, he has a gun or something like that. That's kind of odd. I know in the first video I had her chase me through the street shooting her gun no one did anything to stop that so she's definitely not as defenseless as she tending to be all right so let's head to the next place uh oh all right the cops are honing in on me so try to bring out the big guns <laughs> it's one thing I really get a kick out of on the stage when the police come after you they always end up killing dozens of people trying to shoot you and uh and uh i don't know i i don't think the npcs roaming the streets the ones that are kind of like zombies i don't think 
they count at the end of the day. Um, let's stab this guy. Whew. I always like using the knife in first person. In this game, it's a lot of fun. You know, you run, people run from you. <laughs> oh, let's stab you. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, you can't run away. I'm going to stab you all. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to slit your throat. No, more more bullets. Okay, what what weapon to use? Oh, about the SMG. Spent a lot of damn money on this thing, so I'm gonna use it. What are you gonna do, buddy? Stop picking up that gun. You know, I think the most dangerous thing about this stage and other levels when you go on a rampage is if you don't pick up all the guns, there's always a good chance that uh, innocent bystanders will pick up the gun and try to shoot you like that guy. And they always get the jump on me. There's another guy I picked up a gun, I think. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, quite a few times I've been taken by surprise and actually killed by an innocent bystander. So. You gotta watch out for that. Okay. All right. Oh man, that doesn't look too good on your face, 47. Did you get that checked out? Let's get high. Let's get high in painkillers. And uh, let's use this gun, this nice toy that... Wow, you guys really didn't hear anything, huh? Hmm. You know, the blood splatters that this game has on the walls, it's really something. I mean... It's a bright and colorful game. It's not all brown and orange like a lot of games are, but... No. Anyway, that's the picture that you would see if you're at about 80 or 90 notoriety before they actually have a exact picture of you. Of course, we won't be seeing that at the end of this stage because at the end of this stage, we'll be back to 100 notoriety. So... I'm gonna head up these stairs. And I got a good feeling about door number two, so... Let's be ready. Let's pick this lock. And... Oh, there he is. Die. Die, you bastard. You know, as crappy as these buildings look, the walls must be really nicely made because these guys don't hear a damn thing. I've been slaughtering people left and right. And here's a nice sniper rifle I promised you folks we'd be using. Let's test it out. It's not really fun killing the zombie NPCs because they don't count as kills. Oh, but here comes the senator's float. Let's uh, let's take out his bodyguards. You know we can't uh, we can't kill him because that would automatically end the level since one of our objectives is to keep him alive. Well, someone's got a tummy ache. Let's see if we can hit this last guy here. No, I don't think I can hit him. There's no zoom on the sniper rifle. This is this is as far as it zooms in. And uh, you know, that's the uh, that's the kind of lame part about weapons that you pick up in the levels is that they can't be upgraded. You know, they sometimes they're cool on their own, but you know they can never be made better. So you know, well that's just the way it is, I suppose. I wonder if in Absolution they'll have even more weapon customization. Oh, well, here comes some more cops, it looks like. There he is. And I don't know if it's the bullets are missing or some kind of glitch, but it seems like sometimes you can shoot a person a lot of times and they just don't die. I don't know why that is. I can't seem to find their guns. It makes me a little nervous because of... Well, let's kill this last guy here. I wasn't able to snipe you, but I'm going to shoot you instead. And... I wonder if he's the last cop. I'm pretty sure I've killed pretty much all of them. Huh. Oh, it's a bulletproof balloon. How do you like that? Bulletproof. 
and man, more people shooting. <laughs> nice job, buddy. You just killed an innocent man. Thanks. Now you're just as good as me. I'm sick and tired of this weak gun. Nice. Yeah, that's a real gun. Actually kills people when you shoot them with it. I'll pick up these guns. They might fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> Although, now that I think about it, I guess my hands really are the wrong hands, but... Well... Well, can Big Bird and his friends stop me? Probably not. Now let's get the MP9. MP9 is a sweet gun in this game. And... Yep. Let's kill this guy. Huh. You know, after that delivery guy is done delivering, he doesn't leave. He just hangs out outside. Kind of weird. I wonder why they would want him to hang around if all he's there for is to deliver something, but... Oh well. Whatever. Hmm. More ammo, please. And... Yeah. Like I said, the walls in this place must be really thick because... They can't even hear me coming. And... <laughs> oh, you know, the targets in Hitman, they're always so... unsuspecting. You know, they go down so easily. And... I'm about to pick up a new weapon, so... Might as well use these bullets while we got them. And my goodness, look at all those bodies. But you know, folks, they're not real people. They're not even full-fledged NPCs. And shortly, they will be replaced by new NPCs. And let's get rid of this sniper rifle, too. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to pick up a shiny new weapon. The SG something something. I don't know. It's a pretty sweet assault rifle. Um, it's powerful. You know, it, it's not as good as the M4 because it can't be upgraded with a scope or a laser sight or armor-piercing ammo, but it's still it's a pretty great gun. I only wish I hadn't killed so many uh, <laughs> so many cops. Uh, then we'd have more to use. We'd have more targets to use it on. You know, I'm gonna go back for that walkie-talkie because I don't feel like uh, searching all over the map for. Our last target, because as you as you already know, she likes to move around. And now that we have the walkie-talkie, we know exactly where to look. And let's look. On my way and where is she? Door. There she is, right there. So let's let's head on over. Uh, we got our briefcase full of diamonds. We got our man. That's a lot of bodies, and they don't care at all. They're just walking on by. Okay. Oh boy. I know I probably don't sound quite as enthusiastic as I normally do, but. Uh oh, more gunfire. Well, let's take these guys out. Yeah, this gun doesn't have any bullet penetration, I don't think. Which is a little unfortunate. mow down some more random people, why not? Like I was saying, I probably don't sound quite as enthusiastic. Well, it's just because I think I've... <laughs> I've played the hell out of this stage. I think I've played the stage a little more than, uh... A little more than the other stages, so... You know. Yeah, but... Yeah, take that, lady. But I think with the new stage, I'll feel a renewed uh, respect and take that take that anyway now let's head to the exit I think with the new stage I'll find a renewed interest in this game let's head on out of here man that looks terrible gotta get that checked out okay so only eight witnesses I think uh, I think yeah see I only got psychopath here I think the, I think one of the keys to getting higher ratings is to actually have more witnesses. 
I think one playthrough I did of this, I had something like 30 witnesses. And we got 150 grand deducted. That's a lot of money, but with the diamonds, we made up for it a little bit. Oh, psychopath. Really, nothing much to say about this newspaper, really. Same old, same old. And they still got our picture there. Oh, that scary, scary picture. That's really freaking me out. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. All right, so that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister. See you next time.